<laughs> I don't know how good this footage is going to be. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. Pretty interesting video today. But before we get into it, I'd just like to say if you're enjoying our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's video, we're going to be hitching up a plow and going plowing in a field which has already been plowed. Re Replowing an already plowed field. Yeah, just backing up to a plow now. It's going to be for some winter corn. It's quite late, but we had some rain last night, so the field's still a bit wet today, but we're just going to plow it, replow it, and just start afresh. And hopefully get it drilled sort of um, early next week. We'll get the plow hitched up, get it greased up, and then we'll go. And hopefully we can remember what we're doing. Catch you up in a bit. I've got something I don't need to hide. Struck by lightning, you me glide. I'll keep swinging right across the sea. Won't stop dreaming of what we could be. Right, so we're all hitched up. Just leave him a spot yard now. Probably got the probably 20, 25 minute drive. Got the got the plow all greased up, so that's all that's all done. It's always the same, but you always run out of grease about at the start or halfway through, so I had to swap the grease cartridge, but my batch of power grease gun is absolutely like spot on for doing especially like stuff like the plow, it's just so nice just being able to like get out. She well, it just makes it a lot easier and quicker but anyway we're we're on my road so i'll probably switch you off here you don't really want to see me just driving down my road i'll probably see you when we're back in the field all right guys just got to the field to be fair it's not as bad as i thought my stepdad did come out and have a look earlier this morning he said it was pretty wet like there isn't much wind at the minute so i thought it was still going to be pretty wet but it's actually not too bad i wouldn't have said basically want to catch the plowing at a different angle but i think i'm gonna go almost 90 degrees to it so that might be a bit bumpy but i think that's just the best way for the because the field's longer that way so hopefully if i go that way be able to get on with it a bit more the only reason i did it sort of short ways last time was because the spud runs went with the, went the long way so i wanted to catch them different so tesla classes cab suspension out this afternoon see how good it is hopefully get a drone up at some point it's actually quite a nice day today i'll jump in try and figure out <laughs> Try and figure out what I'm doing. Hopefully you can sort of see that. It's plowing up just a tad, tad sort of shiny, if you know what I mean. It's just a tad wet, but it's just been sad like this for months and being rained on. So it's obviously going to be pretty wet underneath with the next few days being dry. And hopefully we'll get a bit of a breeze. Maybe not tomorrow, but the day after it should, um, should air off and dry out nicely. Hopefully ready for the drill. I've probably got to plow my headlands the other way. Last time I plowed it into the edge, now I want to plow it out, so I'll probably sort that out in a minute. Just wanted to get a few runs. A few runs done. Just get myself set up. Like I was saying earlier, just plowing it for a second time. We missed our sort of slot um, with the winter corn, but hopefully we're still going to be able to get the back seed we've got in. Drill. Be a tad late, but hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll be alright. It's not been too bumpy in a minute, but I haven't been full speed yet. The soil isn't sticking to the plow, so I've done a pretty good job of greasing it up. Because that's always the actual worst thing, is when you come to use it the first time, you spend, well, you take ages doing the first bit, so you keep on jumping in and out, scraping the boards off, but you don't seem to have that problem at the minute. We'll keep cracking, and we'll see what happens. As and lost, 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 as and lost,
All right, guys, so you can probably see that it's actually, well, it's not too bad, but it is plowing over a bit, like, shiny. It's pretty, still pretty fresh. It's, like, sticking to your boots as you're walking in it. It needs moving. It needs the air getting through it to air it off. And then if we come in here with a cultivator, break it up a bit more, just the head of a drill would, hopefully, it would have done a good job. Sun's sort of going down. Better keep going. Just had a phone call and we're, um, we're unsure whether we're going to be um, combination drilling it or not. I am going to be leaving the headlands. Obviously, I'll plow the bottom headland just to help with a bit of wash. To be fair, I don't think it's aired off that much from where I started, but there isn't a lot of like wind to dry it out, so hopefully the wind will pick up over the next couple of days. So we're getting into some shorter stuff now, so I reckon it'll be surprising how we'll cover the last bit and then I'll just have a bit of fid fiddling around on the bottom headland. I don't know if you can see that down there, round to the left. Just got this little bit here to do, that bottom headland down there, and then that's it. Decision will be made overnight and then if, when I come back tomorrow I'll either be plowing the headland because we're um, not combination drilling it or plowing it because we are. I'll get cracking on, try and get Get it done before it gets dark. I'll probably catch you up later on. field sort of done apart from the headlands hope you've just seen me unhitching just dropped off gonna leave it at the field not a lot of people traveling it's like sort of out the way so fingers crossed <laughs> still here tomorrow make sure i don't don't break anything on my way out oh my beacons have folded down yeah you might have heard me complaining about the lane earlier but um just smashes your cab up a little bit like, not smashes it up but like folds all your beacons down and it's the right paint it does my head in <laughs> There's like a tree which is like a pretty thick branch which is like falling on the road and it's only like a tractor whip. Might have to do a bit of deforestation on the way over. Sort of drove on it on the way here but it's sort of facing the wrong way for me to drive on it on the way out. This is going to take the beacon out. Uh, got both beacons to sort out in a minute. <laughs> Probably wind it all but it doesn't do bad. It looks like a bigger branch than I remember. Get out, try and move this. I'll show you. Yeah, it's this bit, this thing here. <laughs> I don't know how good this footage is gonna be. That'll do, I reckon. It's all my wing, it's all my, not the wing mirrors, but the beacon's out. Bit of hedge trimming in the video as well. Alright, so we've um, just made it back to the yard. Probably going to end the video here. But I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Got any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.